Dallas and River Ridge, Louisiana. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and I'm gonna show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling when I cut the Verilux X top of the line Essilor digital freeform progressive lens with Crizal Provencia for your Oakley 8138 chamber, 53 eye size, color 03, the polished smoke. And let me take everything out of the original packaging as Oakley sends it to me. Of course, your Oakley hard shell case. Inside, well, you have extra nose pads. We'll get to that. You have your Oakley cleaning cloth carrying bag when you don't want to carry the case around with you. And this frame does come with interchangeable nose pads. It comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you with the various nose pads that you can put on. And there's probably videos out there showing you how to do that. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses. Take your frame, place it into the tracing element of my blocker. By the way, this polished smoke is really nice. It comes in, uh, I think the chamber comes in two sizes, but it does come in about four or five colors with this polished smoke being really popular now. So, hot color, hot color. Program the shape into the computer and you are lucky number 2222222 for any Tribe Called Quest fans out there. And, uh, 2222, hit the start button. Pardon me, I digress. <laughs> a little stylus is going to pop up, go around and trace the inside belt over the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance, or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase when you submit my receipt. I also should back up and say I am an authorized Oakley dealer, but I've been told that as a small independent optician, I'm not legally allowed to post pictures of frames with prices on my website. So do what Dallas did. You can email me or call me. All my contact information is on the contact page of the website. Tell me which model number, size, and color. I'll check on the price and availability. Get back with you. Ask you about what lens options you want, and we'll go from there. So that is the shape of the lens I'll be cutting. I'm going to move to the next screen. I need to enter your pupillary distance, which is 29.5. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the minus button. It's going to go down in half millimeter increments till we get to 29.5. I want to raise the optical center, the seg height, up to uh, past 18.5. Change the layout screen from single vision to progressive, no line bifocal. Now, you got, come back here, come back here. You got the top of the line Verilux X, which has, I don't know if you can see that, but it's the only one that actually has the name painted onto the lens. If you can't see that, let me take a picture, pull this up, open that up on my phone, and you will see the Verilux X, X design onto the lens. You can see the purple reflex of the Crizal Provencia on there. All progressive lenses come with some laser engravings into the lens. I'm going to go through the whole steps with you here. Come down here to my progressive identifier. There's little, there's circles on here. I'm going to put a dot in the center of each circle. I always underline the strength of the progressive. And that actually I'm doing it on the wrong side of the lens. Look at me. Shame on me. Pay attention what you're doing. Pay attention. Turn it over. We're going to do the back of the lens. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Now I'm going to underline this side, the 1.5 which is the bifocal strength of 150, put an L on the back side. Now, you have the Essilor logo for the X lens, and then on the very outside of it, if it shows up in the lens, you have an X on the outside here. I'm going to circle that. There's an X right there, and then the logo for the Verilux X, which may get cut off. I'm going to make this one a square. Inside there, there's a laser engraving on there. I'm going to take this reason why right on the back of the lens 
there's two circles that correspond with the two dots that I originally put on there put a dot there and it happens to correspond with the layout there but I'm going to wipe this paint off before it goes into your lens do the same thing now for the right lens turn it around to right on the back surface underline the strength that's always on the outside of the right lens and come over here put those two dots do that there and let me recap <laughs> but the reason why I put the dots on the back surface is I clean the paint off your lens before it goes into the frame none of that information is no longer on there the Verilux X design is being wiped off because I like to use as little of the harsh optical grade acetone to clean the lenses while it is in your frame. So now the lenses are what they usually look like before I get started. Place that onto the platform. I need two blocks, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it's cutting. So I'm going to use two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got two here. The black side is the sticky side. Put that on the first block, lay it on the platform, do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. I've already done the pupillary distance, the optical center height. That blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. If you measure vertically and horizontally, it's in the middle. Your eye is just above that and inset inside that orange crosshair. I put that black dot in the middle of that orange crosshair. These other two dots that are 34 millimeters apart, the laser engravings go four, mil four millimeters below the center. Get everything lined up. Make sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame, and it is. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens that had the Essilor engraving for the Verilux X, and then there's an X on the outside, which I'll be curious to see if it still stays after the lens is cut. Pull the paper away. To it may just be cut off with the shape. Well, we'll see. This will actually tell us. Okay, this is good. This is well, pupillary distance of 31. I'm going to tap the plus button until we get to 31. Can you see that circle on the outside there? Ooh, that is going to stay just inside. So that's going to be right there in front of your pupil. Those other two dots tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. Get everything lined up just perfectly as I was mentioning. So yes, you will have a little E right here with an arch over it. On the outside corner of your left lens, you will have an X. You will have one on the outside of the right lens as well. But I see that now for that, so that's good. That will not get cut off. Place the block onto the left lens. The reason why I like highlighting that and showing that to you is that being invisible, it's hard for you to tell. But if you hold your lens up to the light, and you are nearsighted, so this is great. When you hold your lens up, outside you will see a little X on the outside that is the laser engraving for the Verilux X there are no cards of authenticity I'm sorry to say from Essilor on these lenses I'm now partnering with Zeiss and offering Zeiss lenses all of their lenses come with uh, with cards of authenticity paperwork and document there's nothing on the Essilor lenses as of now so I am pleased to be able to show you these are the Verilux X so that when you get these in the mail, you can verify for yourself um, that you're getting the top of the line and that nothing has been substituted. So I'm going to pull up the shape onto the computer. Job ID number 2222. These are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, high index plastic or Trivex. I would select that, but we're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. I'm only going to put one on the rear concave surface. And actually, I want to do one more thing. I want to clean off some of the on the bevel wheel itself. There is some of the optical sawdust I want to clean off of there. Schwarf, as it were. 
clean that off. That is what's going to apply the bevel. This surface does the back of the lens. This surface does the front of the lens. That's the drill bit for doing the drilling for drill mount frames such as Silhouette. Close the door. That's going to slide back into place. Now we're still stuck on that. The polish lens. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's refresh everything. 2222. Take the polish off. Safety bevel. We're good to go. So I'm going to take the right lens. Press the block on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Yep, that's right. Free bad jokes with the purchase of every lens. So the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens. And then measuring the thickness of the lens at every point on the second time around to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. And actually, you know what? Let's do something else too. I had these lenses made to match the curvature of the frame. So here's something you don't normally see me do. I'm going to put the take it from automatic to the manual setting, the hand. And it's already traced. This is your lens. If you can imagine taking a round lens and opening it up like a butterfly, this will tell me the thickness of the lens at every point where the bevel goes around. And if you look right here at this little peak, you can see as it's moving, as I'm going around the different components of your prescription, I could do just cut it on the front surface of the lens. I could cut it on the back surface. I can change the percentage of where that bevel goes by doing plus or minus. But we're going to go to this button, which is the curvature of the lens. And it follows the curvature of the frame of the lens itself it just traced. So I'm going to do that and it will follow the contour of the lens all the way around. I'm going to hit the start button. The lens is going to drop down onto the cutting wheel. The light you see flickering in the background is there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic high index plastic and Trivex lenses cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now water will spray onto your lens, but only in the last 20 seconds to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses now. But as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris and their government issued oak lease. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin there in River Ridge, Louisiana, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun in Louisiana. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now you got the Crizol Provencia, which uh, is Essilor's premium well, Crizol's, which is owned by Essilor, premium blue blocking anti-glare that can be applied to the surface. So this blocks the harmful blue light emitted from today's electronic devices, such as cell phones, tablets, computer screens. Now transitions and transitions extra active also block blue light, but not everyone gets transitions such as Dallas. He only got the Crizol Provencia, so that's what he's doing to block the blue light. The Provencia is three, actually I want to also make a note of this, that I cut it on the front base curve before. Cut on front base curve of 4.1. And I'll notate that for your records for future lenses. But the anti-glare coating Cruzol is three treatments in one. The first treatment it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights, and such. The second feature is it reduces reflection. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses. Or if you take a selfie, 
you're less likely to see your phone in your lens or if someone else takes a picture with a flash you're less likely to see the flash in the lens the third feature that i like the practical side they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there because the machine that applies the Crizal anti-glare costs well over a million dollars it takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens your lens has to be clean and washed in an acid bath in a sterile room a clean room I want to take that down a little bit more. I'm going to take it down a tenth of a millimeter until it pops in there easily. It's in a clean room where your lens goes to an acid bath eight times dried between each vaporized coating. So because of the time and the expense, Crizal puts the hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. The reason why I did not want to force the lens in there would cause the frame to stretch or what we in the industry call roll. If you imagine your frame the bevel being like a gutter. If the lens were too large, it would force the, the bottom of the frame to roll outwards, giving an ugly cosmetic look, as well as shortening the life of your frame. A lot of people will use heat to adjust the frame. I like to do what's known as cold mount, so I know that it fits in there easily. Your lens is applying force in every direction, going around the frame. The bottom of the frame is the thinnest point, so that's usually the victim that would roll outward. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm a perfectionist and you want someone like me cutting your lenses, I provide a VIP service. As far as I know, as far as you know, and as far as I know, I am the only licensed optician. Not just the ABO and NCLE certifications, I am board certified in two fields, but I have a state license which supersedes that, which is a much harder license. I need more hours of continuing education every year to maintain that license. And I'm the only person who co corresponds with you by email, who orders your lenses, who cuts the lenses, who knows to do it on a certain bevel, who orders that bevel beforehand, um, cuts it to match the curvature of the frame. I do that on every grind job. Put that in. Now that pops in there easily and that can almost just come right off. Add to my sticker collection. Try that off, throw that back in here, take the left lens. Make sure that every lens fits perfectly. I'm the owner of the company. The owner is doing all the work. I show you everything I do. I have nothing to hide. Flip that over to L, hit the start button. The door closes, the clamp shuts, and then the lens is gonna be traced by the styluses again to make sure the left side of the frame is large enough. I'm going around tracing the shape of the left lens. There's cheaper people out there. There's people who don't follow directions. I am, as I repeat, I was told as an independent optician, I'm not allowed to post pictures of the Oakleys with prices on my website. It's asking me, do I still want to cut it on that same bevel of 4.10? Yes, I do. Hit start. But I am the only licensed optician from start to finish to email you to personally thanking you in an email. I take pictures of everything before I ship with the tracking numbers, with your address. That's why it's left blank. That's why this is paper clipped on there. You have a permanent copy, which is a gray record card. This sticker is going to go on your permanent copy that has your email, your address, your phone number, all the personal information that you don't have. I'll let you know what city you're in, but that is it. This is the personalized attention that you're going to get. This is not a sweatshop. I do not crank these out. Now the two dots are still on the outside, but the center dot is gone, so I'm going to line these up again. Put a dot there. That's exactly where your eye is going to sit. Come down here to the lensometer. Do what's known as final inspection. Read the power on your lens. Put it in above that black dot. And I am getting the same spherical marks. I don't know if you guys can see that. I cannot tell. There should be three skinny lines and three thick lines. And when I rotate this, all of that stays into focus. That is a spherical power. If you had astigmatism, the three skinny lines would be out of focus. And then I'd have to dial in the thicker lines for your astigmatism correction. So you have... The unit of measurement in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. It starts at zero, which we in the industry call Plano, and goes up in quarter increments, point, uh, 25, point 50, point 75, one. So you're on the third rung of a the ladder. There's a minus sign. 
Your lenses minify, the opposite of magnify. You are a myope. It's also known as a simple myope. If you had astigmatism, you'd be a compound myope. But you have, you are myopic. So you need three steps of far-sighted correction to see far away. Um, your, and no astigmatism correction, as I mentioned. Your left eye, you need four steps, one full diopter. Now, this is called the ADD, the bifocal strength, the progressive no line, multifocal, goes by many lanes, progressive power is 150. Now, these are not the reading glasses you would buy in a drugstore. It's called the ADD because it means in addition to what's up top. So you have a minus up top and a plus at the bottom, plus 150, so it almost cancels out. You would need a plus 75 reading glasses for the right eye, plus 50 for the left, which they don't make. But you add these two numbers together in conjunction to find out the strength of your reading power. Now, if you were minus 150 in the right and the left, you would actually cancel each other out and be able to read with your glasses off. Right now, you have to hold things a certain distance to make everything nice and crisp. The further away it gets, now you need distance correction. You can still see up close great. At one time you could see your fingerprint. You may still be able to, but that's going to fade. You're going to have to start pushing that out to see clearly. I call it the trombone effect. You're going to start playing trombone when you're trying to read something until eventually your arms aren't long enough and everyone's got to have that bifocal strength. So you can still see the outline of that circle. I want to check something here in my progressive identifier lamp. There it is. There is that X. Great, great. So you can go into any optical shop in America, ask to look through your lens through the progressive additional lens. It's called a progressive lens because you look down where it progressively gets stronger and stronger. The ID, this one's by Essilor, the maker of your lens. There's still the logo there next to the P. The P stands for polycarbonate. There is an E with an arch over it, which stands for the Verilux X, and then there's another X on the outside there. So let's see if this is going to fit first time around. Or do I have to take it off some more? Tuck it in at the outside corner. Push down the nose. It snaps right in. Good. Take that block off. Pull the sticker away. Dry that off. Add to my sticker collection. Come down here to the lensometer. And put it in over that black dot. And I am getting minus one. Exactly halfway between zero and two. That's where you're going to find one. So, your pupillary distance for your right eye, 29.5 for the left, 31. So this should read 60.5, and it does place the PD stick against my thumb. When we look through the dot on the left lens, we're getting 60.5, so that is perfect. Measure the height, 18 and a half. 18 and a half, that is perfect. Now this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned there's free shipping. Of course, this purchase is tax-free as well, but I'll get to that. But I try and keep as much of the chemical away. Now, single vision lenses, there's less dots. So I'm going to put that on the outside, clean that off. Now I'm going to use a different cleaner to clean the entire lens. The upper echelon anti-glares from Crizal, Provencia, and Sapphire have a powder coating. These are oleophobic, meaning that if you spray water on there, it's just going to bead off. So they have a powder coating on the lens that prevents the lens from slipping as it's turning around in the chuck. And I want to clean that off more thoroughly, so I use a different cleaner. Get my fat little fingers up there against the edge. I try and keep the harmful acetone off. You know this bottle costs $60 for a quart, can you believe that? But it is optical grade acetone. And then I use a more mild cleaner to get the rest of the lens clean. Again, VIP service. I've cut tens of thousands of pairs of glasses for people in my 21 year career, soon to be 22. You want a perfectionist like me taking care of your most premium product. Your premium Oakley, your premium Verilux X lenses, your premium anti-glare coating from Crizal Provenci, which is purple. This is known as a reflux. In certain lighting and certain angles, you will see a purple hue on the lens. Right now, the only purple is Crizal Preventia, the blue blocking one through the ultraviolet spectrum through where the blue light is. 
most anti-glare coatings were a greenish purple provencia is the only true purple one that's how you can tell that i have the Crizal sapphire on my lens a sapphire hence the term blue you can tell from that one purple of the provencia blue of the sapphire mine do not block the blue light but i have transition lenses in mine that block the blue light Dallas does not have transition, so he went with Crizal Provencia to block the blue light, the harmful blue light. Put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different, and I'll show you in just a moment. But I'm going to make sure these are in standard alignment which is also known as a three-point stance, one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, again, I mentioned I was part of the 80%, but Oakley's, most of the Oakley's come with pilot temples, meaning that if you are a World War II fighter pilot with a hard helmet on, you could slide your glasses on and off without having to take your helmet on, off, excuse me. Now, something like this is known as a spatula temple, and you'd have to take your helmet off. And every pair of glasses I have have to be adjusted where mine wobble on the counter to sit level on me because I have one ear that's higher than the other. But these pilot temples are almost self-correcting. I've never had a pair of glasses that I could do this and they would sit level on the counter. Only in these Oakleys. It's some type of mystery, but they're very well made. They know what they're doing. By the way, I'm wearing the Oakley 8132. I can't see without my glasses off. This is the cross range switch in the 54 eye size and color 04 universe blue. I'm all about some blue orange. I wear a lot of that. No, that's not the color of my college or professional team, but it is the color of my hometown Durham Bulls baseball team, and I wear those colors. But, uh, and clean this off again. By the way, I send out a selfie request in every package. Dallas, I would love to have your selfie rocking these on my website i also send out cleaning instructions not only how to care for your frame and lenses so they will last you for years but for the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that i provide the Crizal cleaning cloth your oakley cleaning cloth slash carrying bag and instructions on how to care for your case so it too will last you for years again that's the vip service you're going to get from me Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon to see future videos. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter as Free RX Lenses. Again, I am an authorized Oakley dealer. I play by the rules. They tell me I'm not allowed to post pictures or frames on the website with prices. So simply go to the Contact Me page on the website. Do like Dallas did. Tell me what frame you want, which model, which size, the color. I will check on the price and availability and get, get back to you. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. Dallas, after watching this video, please feel free to leave a comment before or after you get these. So again, Dallas and River Ridge, Louisiana, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley. And you get all the original packaging. This is the 8138 Chamber in the 53 eye size color 03 Polished Gray Smoke. And now with Crizal, with the Verilux X digital freeform progressive lens, this frame sells for $223. The Verilux X sells for $299.99. That's usually less than half price of what most doctor shops offer it for. And the Crizal Provencia with the blue blocking ability is $119.99 for a total of $642.98 tax free. Again, I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers glasses a medical device. There is no tax on medical devices, so you will get, you only pay that. If you were to buy glasses from anyone else online, you would have to pay tax on that. But every purchase is tax free and includes free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And that's how everyone else now got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.